In this video, we'll look at how to install Teleport on Windows. And more specifically, we'll be looking at installing the TSH in Teleport Connect user clients. So if we take a look at the operating system support, we see that Windows only supports the TSH and Teleport Connect user clients. If you want to run the Teleport service, the Tcuddle admin tool, or Tbot, you'd need to do so on a Mac OS or Linux machine. However, if you're using Teleport Cloud or Teleport Team, and you're on a Windows machine and want to use Tcuddle, you could always use Windows Subsystem for Linux to run that. So let's look at how you would install TSH in Teleport Connect. If you scroll down the page and look for Windows, we'll find it down here at the bottom. And it tells you here, TSH client only. And to install it, you just run these commands. So if you have Windows Server 2016 and lower, you need to set the TLS level to 1.2. Next, you'll get the checksum, convert it to a string, and download the teleport zip file. So let's go ahead and copy this whole thing and head over to my Windows machine. First, open up PowerShell and paste this in. All right, so if I check, I have the teleport zip file here. And after you've verified the checksums like we just did, you can extract the archive. So let's copy that command and run it. And if we CD into that and into the teleport folder, there's the executable. But I wanna place that somewhere else and include it in my path. So for that, I'm just gonna open up the file explorer and find that file. So C drive, under my user, teleport, and I'm gonna copy the executable. Then I'll go back and in my program files, I'm gonna create a folder called teleport. And put it there. Next, I wanna add this to my path so that I can use it from any directory. So for that, I can just type in env, go to the system environment variables here in Windows, find my path, go to edit, and let me get the path to the executable. Click new and paste that in, hit okay, and we should be good. We do need to open up PowerShell again for that to refresh. But now if you set all that up correctly, you should be able to run TSH. Now, TSH is a CLI client that allows end users to authenticate to teleport, access the resources in a teleport cluster, and perform a handful of operations like file transfers, access requests, MFA management, etc. If we scroll up here, we can see a few of these. So with TSH, we can SSH, we can manage apps, we can manage databases, start local proxies, we can manage access requests, Kubernetes clusters, multi-factor authentication, and more. But the first thing you normally wanna do with TSH is to log into your teleport cluster. So here on the public web, I have a teleport cluster running. So let me copy this URL. And to log into that cluster, we use TSH login, and then we add the proxy flag. And for that, we put the URL of our teleport cluster. And for auth, I'm gonna use my GitHub SSO. Hit enter to log in. Login successful, and I'm logged in. So I'm logged in as this user, I have these roles, and my certificate is valid for 12 hours, which is default and is configurable. And now that I'm logged in, what can I do? Well, let's take a look at the Kubernetes clusters that Teleport is managing for me. So TSH, cube, LS, and I have three Kubernetes clusters in my environment. To log into one of those, I simply run TSH, cube, login, and minikube, dev, let's choose that cluster. And once logged in, I can run my kubectl commands as normal. So get pods, and I can list my pods. Now what about servers? Let's check out our servers. So TSH, LS, to list my servers, and I have two of them that Teleport is managing. To SSH into a server, I run TSH, SSH, and then my user, which is gonna be Ubuntu, at, and the node name. So I'm gonna grab this, copy it, paste that there, and I can SSH into that server. And that's TSH. It allows you remote access into your Teleport cluster. 
and there's much more we could talk about. There's many more things that TSH does. But for now, let's shift to Teleport Connect and take a look at that. So if we go back to our documentation and scroll up to this operating system support chart, you see a link down here called Using Teleport Connect. You can click on that, or you can go up here to Connect Your Client and Using Teleport Connect. Now, Teleport Connect, like TSH, is a user client that allows you to access Teleport remotely. But instead of being in a terminal, we get a graphical user interface desktop app to work with. So let's download it and see how it works. To download it, just go down to Installation and Upgrade, go to Windows, and actually you can just click on this Downloads link to go to the download page. Scroll down to the bottom, change this to Windows as your operating system, and make sure you select Teleport Connect. And I can click the download link to download the EXE. Once that's complete, run the EXE to install Teleport Connect. And we have our Teleport Connect application. So let me make this bigger. So to connect to your cluster, click Connect. And let me grab the URL again. Paste that in, click Next. And then you'll be at your login screen. I'm going to choose my GitHub login. Login successful. And now I can see my resources in this desktop app. So I have my servers, I have a database, and I have three Kubernetes clusters. So to log into a server, I just click Connect and choose my user, which I'll choose Ubuntu. And I instantly have an SSH into that server. If I want to log into a Kubernetes cluster, I can choose Connect. And again, I'm instantly able to run my kubectl commands. Now for a few features of the app itself, up here at the top right, we have the profile selector, which allows you to switch between profiles on different teleport clusters, as well as log in or out of those clusters. On the top left, we have the connection list, which shows recent connections, allowing you to seamlessly switch between them. So here's my cube connection I just performed in the SSH connection I performed before that. And then in the middle, we have the search bar, which allows you to search for resources across clusters. And then finally, if you want to customize Teleport Connect, you can go to these three dots and click on Open Config File. And it looks like I don't have any text editors. I'll just use WordPad. And in this config file, you can customize Teleport Connect. So for instance, if I wanted my terminal font size a little bigger, I could add that to my configuration. And also in that dropdown, you can create a new access request or review ongoing requests out there. And that's Teleport Connect. So in conclusion, TSH and Teleport Connect are two user clients that you can easily install to interact with your Teleport cluster. Thanks for watching.